Hey, it's Tim here with Expert Power Wash. And today I wanted to show you a little project that I'm working on. It's a Honda GX 630 pressure washer that's in some sad shape. We're gonna get it fixed up and get it going. Let me show you what we're working with. All right, here it is. Bring you in a little closer. Got an extra gas can stacked on top of here. Got a metal gas can. Honda GX630. It only has uh, 493 hours on it. Anybody that's familiar with these machines, you could easily get, I don't know, 2,000 to 3,000 hours out of these machines if they're properly maintenance. Uh, let's take a look at the see this exhaust here it's kind of it's pretty rusted it'll do for now but um, if you didn't know if you run the stock Honda mufflers on these things you actually can increase your horsepower by a horsepower and a half so that's something I might look at replacing but what I wanted to show you here see if I can get a good angle there it's just all mucked up. It's sitting on a pallet. But anyways, 5,000 PSI. Seems a bit excessive to me. This pump, let's see if I can find even the, the radians on this. This pump, if I can get in a little closer here. It's a TSP 1621. So basically it's, it's four gallons a minute, 5,000 PSI. And I have a couple uh, 690s. And, you know, even though this machine's a little bit smaller than the 690s, usually it just comes down to carburation. It's the same, really the same motor. But these machines are capable a lot, of a lot more. I thought about nozzling down different nozzle things, but I, I think what I'm gonna do is actually get rid of that pump on there. It's a, it's a, it's a belt drive. But what I'm thinking about doing is getting rid of that and putting a uh, 5.5 gear drive. If you see this thing down here, let's see if I can make it move. I'm not sure what they had going on here. This was mounted in the back of a truck. But this whole thing slides, but it's bolted to a pallet. But uh, the reason why I was thinking about going with a 5.5 is this is going to be a backup machine. So. Let's think about this. If you were in my position, you got a flatbed, you got another trailer, and then this is just going to be a third machine. Would you put an eight gallon a minute pump on there and deal with 2,500 PSI? Or would you do the 5.5 and get the higher PSI? The reason I'm kind of leaning towards the 5.5 um, the gallon per minute is I want this machine to be capable of doing small residential uh, concrete as well. I know some of those guys, we, we have a lot of aggregate out here, so we do need a little bit more pressure. But some people can get away with uh, 2,500 PSI or less. You know, by the time you add hoses and stuff on there, you're going to have probably even less than that. But leave it down in the comments. If you had this machine, what would you do with it? What I'm going to do is kind of do a, like, a, like a build series on this. I have not really done anything like this before to where it's going to be a series. So this video here, part one, is just going to be a walkthrough. Just kind of showing you around this machine. I did pick it up for a very, very good deal. Um, and that's why I'm thinking about just completely just getting rid of everything that's on there aside from just the, just the engine. Like I said, probably replace that exhaust but if anybody's looking for a pump i did test this thing before i bought it everything runs good but if anybody's looking for a pump that puts out 5,000 psi if you have a use for it um, i would consider selling it otherwise i'm just going to throw it up on the old craigslist probably 250 bucks but uh yeah i'm gonna i think i'm gonna build this out on a skid gear drive and just kind of go through it. It does run good. It probably needs an oil change. I noticed that uh, this thing right here, the throttle is a little sticky, so it doesn't idle up from about the middle to there. 
So I'm going to have to mess with that. Um, I'm trying to think what else here. I don't even know. I'm probably not going to really going to sal salvage any of that. The I don't even know what kind of unloader. Sometimes it's better just to completely strip all that out and just start with new. So the frame I'll probably scrap. All the hoses and fittings I'll scrap. Um, here's the water inlet. Everything's rusted. It looks like this thing probably wasn't very well taken care of. I have a machine that has 1100 hours on it and the thing still looks to be in great condition. So if you, you guys that use these to make money, take care of them. They'll take care of you. I'm trying to think really what else, without making this too boring of a video, what else can I show you here? That's, that's about it. Um, like I said, if you had this engine, what would you do with it? Put it down in the comments, kind of how you'd build this thing out. Um, I'm not at my shop today. I'm in my garage. I'll just show you around a couple little things that I got going on. Um, got that little shop crane I'm going to be putting together today. There's uh, the other pieces to it. I'm done lifting these things in. So if anybody's using these engine hoists, let me know. This is just a one ton, but I think it'll work just fine for the pressure washing machines. This is a trailer. This is the trailer I was talking about. This is a six by 10. Some of you guys have seen my old trailer videos where I had a, uh, a single axle. This is a dual axle. Very, very nice trailer that I'm building up. The tank's just kind of sideways. Had to strip a bunch of stuff off of it um, yesterday. I guess this, uh, this video is kind of just talking shop too as well, catching up with you guys. Um, if anybody doesn't know, which probably nobody knows actually, I had an ACL and meniscus surgery. So I'm actually walking around and not on crutches now. So I'm gonna, I'm slowly getting back at it and I got, feels like I got tons of projects stacked up. But uh, here's a little, I got some plumbing videos. Um, I started running the, the one inch suction line and it seems to be working pretty well. But this is how I do my IBC totes. I just come out with a T, it's a two inch, and then just reduce it down. This is a drain. I do like the inch and a half drain, um, but this trailer shouldn't really have to drain off a whole lot of water. Should work fine. Uh, my garage is a mess. Let's see, couple, t couple reels there. This Flexzilla pressure washer hose, this came on a little project that I bought. I'm gonna run this stuff until it blows but this stuff is stiff. I've seen people ask about that Flexzilla pressure washer hose. I don't like it. So uh, let's see what else. Picked up another reel down there and a hose reel, 18 inch. Got a really good deal on that. So just a little tip for you guys. Right now, the time this video is being filmed, it's uh, the end of December. A lot of guys, if they haven't been in the business real long, will start we'll start selling off stuff and that's kind of where I got this trailer and uh, the machine over there. Let's see, there's one more cool thing to show you over here. If you guys are looking for good fuel tanks, this is, this has been in one of my other videos. Actually the cool thing is down underneath, so stick around. Um, 13 gallon, all aluminum. You can order these from Northern Tool. So you can hook up two different machines. One little tip like this, or this right here, this has a little vent on there. If this vent is closed, your machine will die and it won't run right. So always make sure you, you have uh, air going into your fuel tank. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna move this off. And then this right here, this is what's going to be going on the trailer. You probably won't want to see it real well, but this is a, a brand new IGX 800. So I'm not going to tear it all out of here, but this custom ordered it from Manatee. Has the K7 on there. 
running the TSF 2021. So basically you got a little more horsepower. This is the newer fuel injected models that are gonna be replacing. Well, I don't know about replacing, but possibly replacing the um, 690s. Uh, again, gear drive, smaller footprint. So this puts out uh, eight gallons a minute, 4,000 PSI is what this one's rated at. I know it's probably more common, the 10 gallon ones in the IGX 800s, but I, I didn't want any waiting on water issues. So eight gallon a minute is the highest I wanted to go. So that's that. Again, that's for that trailer. I gotta get that all built up. If anybody needs help with trailers or machines or any tech information, leave it in the comments. I'm happy to help. Um, if I don't respond, I got busy and I'll get to you as soon as I possibly can. But uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Stay tuned for this. This should be a fun little project. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you in uh, part two of this pressure washer build.